Yo, what is up guys? This is Animal. Today I bring you a new video. And I know I've been, I've been a bit silent uh, the past couple days there. I didn't really upload that much and all that kind of stuff. It's just that the game had a lot of stuff going on. The Iron Banner pretty much. The quest. Uh, the Y quest. And this and that. And I was pretty much busy with personal stuff too. Uh, personal life stuff. Work. Restarting soon. Uh, the coronavirus slow, slowly you know dying down a bit there still out there so stay safe you know but yeah so I've been a little bit more busy than usual but I am still gonna be grinding for you guys for videos and all that kind of stuff don't you worry I got a lot of stuff coming out in the next couple of days and next week I should have uh, somewhat a fair amount of clips too um, so yeah today I bring you a, a video of the darkest before pulse rifle and uh, Imperial Decree, and if I remember correctly, I was running Coil. Uh, store Caller, as usual, that, that rarely changes. Uh, I'm going to have a couple gameplays coming out in the next couple days about the Darkest Before, because I go absolutely ham when I use this Pulse Rifle. And this is what such setting is hurting me a bit. Because all those god roll guns and really good guns that we've been playing with for the last three years or had in our vaults that never seen the light of day are all gonna be useless in high-end game activity. This is why sunsetting for me I feel is gonna flop completely. Yeah, like it's gonna force you to play with new guns and all that kind of stuff for high-end activities but still I think that it's a weak way of bungee balancing things. Uh, like they can use whatever excuse that oh, like it's they're gonna be able to bring out crazy weapons and this and that yearly. So it's like okay, so every year we're gonna have to deal with like bo like crazy fucking weapons every season and this and that with no nerves because oh, in a year from now it's gonna be useless. And I think it's going to hurt the grind too, in my opinion. I think it's going to hurt the grind because you're not going to want to grind hours and hours and hours for a uh, god roll mind benders. Uh, you know, if it's going to disappear within a couple of months or a year, you know. Uh, you're not going to want to put the same amount of hours into a video game if, you know, they're just going to remove your shit a year after. So... It's like literally me going to you and saying, you know that ES Luna you've been grinding for for two years in D1? Uh, it's not usable anymore. Sorry. But, but you know, you can still use it in normal stuff. Yeah, no, but I'm not grinding super good weapons for patrolling and killing drags, man. I'm grinding trials and iron banner and raids and dungeons and nightfalls to get good guns to be able to use them in those activities, right? So, I don't know. I think the the whole sunsetting thing, meh, nah, I don't know. Uh, it might work, might not. We'll see, you know. Uh, but it, this pulse rifle here is going to hurt me dearly. I really love using this gun. This gun here is probably my second favorite D2 weapon. Uh, as you all know, my favorite is NF, pretty much. And this is like my second. This this is such a really good weapon. I love it. Uh, man, wait until you see like the gameplays I bring you next couple of days with this gun here. It is so good, man. Like, and it's so sad that I won't be able to use it in high end activities anymore. Like, yeah, no, people are like, but you still can use it in Crucible. Yeah, yeah, I still, yeah, I still will be. Because any other weapons that they're bringing so far this year have been shit. <laughs> like, they brought out the same 14 guns, and this season they brought out the Seraph weapon guns. And to be honest, there, there's maybe four weapons on the entire Shadow Keep weapon new stuff that came out. That you can literally say on your four like on your fingers that are good, you know, like spare actions. It came out during the Drifter, you know, season drop and all that kind of stuff for Forsaken Days, and that's better than pretty much the entire all of the entire hand cans 
in the entire game. Hands down, Mindbenders came out Nightfall with Forsaken. And it's still hands down the best shotgun in the game until yesterday where the Fell Winter came out. And some people will argue that if you have the right perks on Mindbenders, it, it's still probably better. But because full choke and this and that, it's not as rifle barrel, you know. But still, Fell Winter is designed for a god roll PvP and a god roll PvE also because you got Vorpal. So, you know, you can go both sides. But still, to say that, like, that shotgun just came out yesterday. So if, if we take out that shotgun out of the equation, Mindbenders has been here for like two years straight just dominating. No shutter shotgun was better. So it's like, they're gonna have to, like, fucking bring out some really nasty guns, man, to be able to counter that argument of, like, oh, like, you know, like, they they can work on bigger guns, stronger guns, and this and that. It's like, dudes, you do realize that they haven't brought, like, a vendor refresh in, like, two years? Like, we've been dealing with the same guns uh, from Shax and Zavala and... Name it for every from every vendor, man. It's been reprise or old stuff, whole gear, this and that. It's like, dudes, like you do realize that they haven't brought anything in two years, and we're supposed to expect new weapons to exchange all our other guns that are not going to be usable in high end activities anymore. You know, I I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. At the end of the day, I love Destiny, and I'll continue playing it. Some people are already like kind of like putting it away because it's like it's frustrating that you're grinding for guns for years and years and years and then bang they're all not usable anymore. Uh, so I understand that argument and on PC they're they're dealing with like severe cheating, all that stuff and you know it's just I don't know man it's been such a fucking uh, roller coaster with Bungie and like look at this Titan fucking teleporting man God damn man. But yeah, no, it's been such a roller coaster these last couple of months with Bungie and Destiny and my god, like, it's like it's since they gave up on Activision, it's like the game literally went to, pfft, I don't know, I don't want to say down, but man, they gotta pick things up, man, like, we need strong anti-cheats, we need, like, severe refreshes like every year or every six months and like all fucking vendors and need a lot of shit man like we need destiny to be good like really fucking on point man because like there's some severe crazy games coming out man you know in, in a couple months from now you got like cyberpunk and the next call of duty probably the next uh something about battlefield uh Name it. So you got a lot of fucking top tier games coming out, man. So I hope Bungie's on their f freaking good wheels, man. Because they gotta get things go rolling very soon, man. Because right now, this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. Sadly. Oh, man. God damn, dude. I think that last hope was, was mapping me there. <laughs> but yeah, no. Like, look at the beauty of this fucking Darkest Before, dude. Such a fucking beautiful gun. Such a really good gun, man. So sad that's like these guns, man. Like I won't be able to use them in trials anymore, right? Iron Banner or raids or I'm not using this gun in raids, but you understand what I mean. Like you know, if somebody had a midnight coop and he was using it in raids, now he can't use it anymore. <sighs> Bungie, I love you, Bungie, man. Like, I've been with y'all for a while. Halo days, name it. Destiny 1, Destiny 2, name it. Like, can go a long time talking about it, but... Ah, man. I don't know. Hey, man, we never know, man. We might get, like, a full-on vendor refresh when this next expansion comes out. Full-on new guns. Full-on everything, dude. Like, if it would be a new game... And we'll maybe be all fucking happy, you know. Or it can go south completely and everything goes down the shitter. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, after, at this point, only time will tell, man. But yeah, so keep an eye on the channel, guys. If you're not, you know, following or subscribing or this and that, like, please do. 
encourages me and it will keep you up with the daily uploads and all that kind of stuff apologize i wasn't able to upload too much this week there but uh next couple days and next week there it should be going back a little bit to normal with the uploads and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned and i hope you enjoy darkest before gameplay because i'm gonna have a couple more gameplays coming out sorry for the rant but i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to like peace out